my dad was working at Khan General as, as a production manager. So I had the interest of what are these people when the, the first time I visit my dad at work. So I saw people doing the in tuk tuk, they were working. So I get the interest of one day, me too, I want to, to do something that other people are doing. But due that I was a woman and I was young, I thought that ah, this may not come to true because I thought that they are only work for men. But I'm happy because now I'm doing the passion that I was having with it back years later. Now I'm doing what I love. Yeah. Opportunity for ladies to encourage them that also they can. On which I think it has given women a privilege to show that what men are doing, they can do it so. So in industry, you find that in doing like engineering, there are few women. But that doesn't mean that women cannot come out and do what men can do. So to me it's a privilege to be here and I can say that it's back from home because my dad also was working at Khan General. So I think from background I get to have the interest. That's why I chose doing engineering because it's passion for me. So I love what I'm doing and I love working with men. Because what I can say is that when you are a lady and you are working where men are, what you can do is accept to learn. Because you find that the energy you are using might be different from the energy for men are using. So what I can say is that accept to learn. When you accept to learn, you will get more idea on what you are doing. And the work will be easier to interact between the lady and the women and the men that you are working in the industry with. I work as a simple technician but associated with our symbols. Yeah, I saw myself working in that environment. When you were growing up as a young girl, did you have this kind of a vision that sometime in the future you'll be working on engines and such? I had a different dream. Most likely, I always thought of being a doctor. Mm -hmm. But while I was growing up, my dreams changed. So along the way, along the way while I was growing up, I developed interest for vehicles. I always imagined myself owning one someday, which I believe will come. So that interest drew me to get to know more about these vehicles. And even when I was choosing my subjects back in high school, physics was, I always performed well in physics. I did. Even if I knew biology, I didn't perform well, but I always knew physics. I had a good grade. And Some physics contained a lot of science. So that science is where I developed my interest from. Engineering is a male-dominated field, but still very interesting. Don't let somebody choose it for you. If it is a choice that you need, remember that it comes with a lot of consequences. Sometimes you expect that it is going to be an easy task, and yet it is very difficult. But if it's something that you've chosen to do, it won't be challenging for you. Do it with a lot of passion and give it all your all. It is going to be easier for you. Growing up, uh, I was young, I wanted to be an electrical engineer. And then uh, I think uh, when I was in high school, I started uh, developing interest for cars. Then when I finished for four, I, I joined an uh, lead automotive engineer. Yeah. Back from college, maybe, how many were you in that class? Uh, in college, you were 49. And uh, you were only two ladies in our case. And that is how it has been, even yeah. up to the job level. Yeah, yeah. The journey has been a, a right from college. The journey has been a, like a, we're working a few ladies, but a lot of men. So I think uh, right from college, I got used to working in an environment where there are more men than women. First, it was a challenge. It was a, Having to deal with uh, so many men wasn't uh, easy. 
again, uh, our challenges with uh, the things that are which which involve uh, so much energy, uh, like lifting of uh, probably every every parts and stuff. So at first it was a challenge, but uh, as time goes by, I got used to it. But I finished my mechanic engineering. I didn't find the work immediately of what I studied. With. But I find another job that is different from what I've learned. Yeah. So after I was doing business now while waiting for for my career. Because you can't just wait for what you've learned when there's another opportunity that has come up. So that's why I was waiting but willing for what the passion was in engineering, but yet I didn't get what I wanted in engineering. I was now doing business while taking my papers in different companies, waiting for to get that work. And it happened to be an opportunity that I applied in FEA and I got the job. That's why I'm right here. Wow. I ended as a woman at times. Chance is and respect. And still our advice, our value for education still remains. Science has a lot to learn. And science has a lot to offer. It is one field that is changing day by day and we have very few ladies in the field. So I would urge as many as possible try our field. It's very interesting. It's very enjoyable. Yeah. Yeah, like, uh, okay, there are some maybe probably won't understand. Uh, some field of that uh, Probably since we are, uh, we are paid the same salary, like there's no uh, work that I can't do. So at first, at first, uh, catching up it was quite, it was quite a challenge. Uh, you just have to do what you have to do. So, but after after a while, then uh, I got I got used to the work. I think right now, where I am, I can see I'm, I'm okay. Yeah, I think, uh, personally, uh, I feel it's a, it's a good cause. And uh, right now, there are very many uh, job opportunities in the automotive sector. So, I'd really love to encourage uh, all ladies who want to pursue uh, engineering courses to take up the task. Join, uh, join this field. The opportunities are there for, for ladies, but uh, unfortunately there are very few in, uh, in this industry. So I just want to challenge them to take up the courses. Uh, it's, at first it's challenging, but uh, eventually we will get used to it. Uh, everything will work. Uh, a message uh, to all women out there during uh, this uh, Women's Day. I just love to encourage them uh, to uh, life at home and work. These are two things that are different. When you're at home, you do particular works at home. When you're at work, you do what brought you at work to make sure the production and everything you are doing to be right. When you're at home, you also do what is good to be done at home. That's what I can say to young women outside there and ladies is that if everything you are doing, put God first and trust that you can. Yeah, and what I know that a woman so maybe what is when this you have confidence, that's the only thing a woman can wear. Confidence and ability to accept you yourself, you must have that heart that I'm going to make it. You have to believe in yourself first that you can make it. When you trust yourself that you can make it, you are going to do it, no matter what time it will take. So, everything starts with you. You are the person to tell yourself you can or you cannot. So you are the one to accept that there is no thing that is hard that you cannot do as a lady. Nowadays, we have many, many opportunities as women who have been given in many, many industries. So, you only accept that I want to do this and you can make it. There is nothing hard to be done. It's only yourself, you are the one going to put yourself down or lift yourself up. I'm happy working as an engineer, so I'm happy 
because I've accepted that this is what I love. You have, you must have the passion in everything you are doing. So me, what I can say is that what a woman can wear is confidence and having the ability to love what you are doing and to love yourself more. Thank you.